Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I style my greasy hair. I'm not sure about many of you, but my hair gets greasy very, very quickly, like within a day. If I washed it in the morning, it's starting to look greasy at night, and the next day it's pretty much shot. If you watched my last video, you know that I'm trying to take better care of my hair, I'm trying not to style it as much, I'm trying to wait longer between washes, and it's been three days since I washed my hair, and I wanna go another one before washing tomorrow. So I was gonna show you how I combat the grease and style. It. Whenever I look on YouTube trying to find a video about how to style greasy hair, I never find hair that I think is sufficiently greasy. Like people's grease doesn't look like my grease. I mean, of course it's on camera so you can't really tell, but I'm gonna give you a really good look at my greasy hair and you let me know what you think. So today I am going to use some dry shampoo, a little bit of heat to restyle it. It's in a braid right now because I slept with it like this. We're just gonna try to work with what we got. So if you're interested in seeing how I style my three day old greasy hair, keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this braid out. From the front and on camera, it doesn't look as greasy as it really truly is. So up here, you can see the grease. Where I tend to get most greasy is at the crown and the back of my head. I have a really bizarre, aggressive part that goes down the back of my head. So yeah, it just lays flat. This is so, so greasy up here. This hair is like, matted down. It's definitely seen better days. So first I'm gonna brush it through. I'm gonna use the wet brush. I know you're supposed to use this on wet hair, but I also like using it on my dry hair because it's really, really gentle and it helps get out any knots or tangles that I may have. So starting from the ends, I'm just going to gently brush my way up to the scalp. And this is when you're gonna really see the grease. Like, can you see that grease? It looks wet to me. Now that the hair is all brushed, there are no knots or tangles, I'm going to apply the dry shampoo. Over the years, I've tried dozens of dry shampoos, and they all work in some way, shape, or form, but there are some that I do prefer. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Batiste dry shampoo. This is not for brunettes. They do make one for brunettes, which I do have a bottle of, but for some reason, I'm not a huge fan of the tint. Um, obviously, it's tinted for brunettes. I already do wear root cover-ups for my gray hairs that are growing in between colorings, so I find that when I add an additional product with pigment, it just makes a little bit more of a mess. So I like to stick to the white kind, plus it's easier to see where it's applied. So I'm just gonna take this, shake it up, and I apply it pretty generously. So I'm gonna target this area, the area beneath my crown, and a little bit down here, because it tends to get a little greasy behind the neck as well. And you're gonna look like a grandma. So I just section it, flip it, section it, flip it. Daenerys Targaryen. Now let it be known that since I washed my hair, I have not used any dry shampoo yet. So this is the first dry shampoo application. I really like to try to use it only once between washes as to not overdo it. What a look. All right, so now we need to do the top. The back is what it really needs. So that is a look. I'm gonna let that sit for just a couple of minutes before I massage it in. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to turn on my hot tool. So I find that when my hair has been worn for a couple of days, it loses the style. So I originally had curled it with a wider barrel curling iron. It didn't hold terribly well. So today I'm gonna to use my double barrel waver from Revlon, which this is one of my favorite hot tools. I've made videos about it on my channel before, but if you don't have one of these, I'd highly recommend. It gives you just the most beautiful, natural looking waves, and it's like the hair that I always wanted. <laughs> this is it. It has settings from one to 30 heat. I've been trying to use very, very low heat lately, so I'm gonna put it at about a 10, about 30% heat, and then just turn it on. So I'm gonna let this heat up for a little bit while the dry shampoo sets. And like I mentioned earlier, and in my previous video, I've really been trying to take better care of my hair. I wanna grow it, I want it to be healthy, Healthier, I want it to be stronger, I want it to be thicker. So I've read some things about dry shampoo, how you're not supposed to overuse it because it could actually cause hair loss. I don't know how accurate that is, but the more I read up on it, the more that it seems like it could be a true statement. Overuse of dry shampoo clogs the follicles, prevents growth, encourages breakage. I don't know, that's just what I've read. If you know anything about this, let me know. And if there are any healthier dry shampoos that work incredibly well, let me know as well. And I'm not totally up to speed on all of that. This is just the one that I use and that works really well for me. 
but I am 100% open to upgrading and using something that would be healthier for my hair and body. All right, this has been sitting for a while. Once it feels dry to the touch, I'm just going to massage it in with my fingers and massage it really, really well. Massaging it is not only going to distribute it throughout and soak up all the grease, but it's also going to remove the white color. So once the white is gone, you're gonna know you did a good job. That's kind of why I like the white as opposed to the brunette, because you really can tell when it's all distributed. And I love this stuff, I really do. It honestly works better than any dry shampoo I've used, but I am always looking for new ones to try. I'm just gonna take my wet brush again. Do you see how much better it looks? I mean, it still has a little bit of shine. It's still a little crooked because we haven't styled it yet. It's definitely better. So what I'm gonna do now is apply a heat protectant. Yep. When did you come back? Look at this. I'm gonna say hi. Yo, don't let people who aren't chiropractors work on your back. I could barely <laughs> run today. Oh my God. From me? Yo, so sore. From what I did? Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm gonna take the Tresemme heat tamer. I just needed a new heat protectant. I usually use the Chi 44 Iron Guard. That's one of my favorites, but I had run out of it and I was in Walmart and I was like, I need something because I cannot continue to style my hair without a heat protectant. I refused to do it, so I got this one. I really liked it because it had this big nozzle and I like that because I like to apply a lot. So we're gonna apply from the roots. <laughs> Avoid the scalp, because I'm not going to put too much heat there anyway. And now we're going to get started. What I really love about this Revlon tool is that you can work in large sections, so it takes very little time to style the entire head. I should be able to do the bottom in three, maybe four sections. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to take my board brush and just brush it out to smooth and shine the hair. And then I'm going to take the waver and I always use it with this side up so that it creates a hump and it creates more volume. Put it right here and just crunch. Two, three, four, five. Not for too long. And then move it down and it just gives you these really natural, gentle looking waves. Move it down to the end. There we go. really hot and even though it's on a lower setting I still find that it works just as well as when I used higher temps so if you're trying to take better care of your hair I would recommend setting your heat tools to a lower temperature just to see if you could achieve your desired style without as much heat here we have these natural looking waves they look pretty healthy they look pretty freshly washed little does anyone know that they're really dirty we're gonna work our way around the head now what i like to do with the top half is take horizontal sections as opposed to vertical ones just to create that volume and build up a really full look i'm gonna take a section here I haven't done this to my hair in a really long time, so I'm super excited. It's one of those styles that holds very, very well. If I did this on day one, my hair probably wouldn't have looked or felt as greasy on day three. I don't know, something about curls, I think, just holds or distributes oil better. I have very fine hair, and I don't have a lot of it, so it definitely gets greasy quite fast. <laughs> Do you see that crease right there? That doesn't really bother me on the bottom layers, but I'll show you what I do to avoid that when we get to the part. This might be my last one, except for the back. So I'm gonna just take this whole left side here. All right, I'm gonna put this about here and I'm gonna lightly tap it and roll it. I'm not gonna hold it tight because I don't want that crease. and we're gonna move down. It's still gonna have a little bit of a line, but it won't be as harsh. The only thing about this tool is it's kind of heavy and kind of bulky, so it's a little bit difficult to work with, especially when you're filming. We're gonna do the same kind of crunch thing, and then move it down about halfway. All right, so now the hair is all styled. I'm gonna run my fingers through it again, just to distribute any dry shampoo that may still be hanging out in there. 
I don't really like to brush these curls out too much because they really do look natural as they are. A little bit of this Ion Sugar Dry Texture and Finishing Spray just to give it a little, a little something. And then sometimes I like to switch up the part, which is what I'm gonna do today. Switching up the part just gives you a totally different look. I like to pull just a little bit from the other side like this, and then a little bit from this side like this. So kind of like a jumbo zigzag almost. And there we go. Really big, full, natural looking waves on three day old, fine, greasy hair. I think it's pretty impressive. I'm so glad that I'm gonna be able to get another day out of my hair, maybe two, I don't know. It's all thanks to that dry shampoo and the double barrel waver. Two of my must have products for hair. I'll show you up close. Definitely not as greasy as it was. So, so, so much better. Aside from the fact that this combats greasy hair, it's also a great style if you're trying to give yourself fuller looking hair. That hot tool is seriously a must have. Me and my disguised greasy hair are going to go about our day. Everything that I used and mentioned, I'm gonna link below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have very fine hair and you don't have a lot of it, let me know below and let me know what kind of products you use and love on a daily basis. Like I mentioned, I'm all about upgrading my hair care routine this year. I'm aiming for healthier, fuller, stronger, shinier looking hair. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>